Having the best trading tools is important to a professional currency trader. At Maverick Currencies, we believe TradingView is one of the best tools out there for our traders. Since our traders trade our capital and keep most of the profits, it's essential to have the best trading tools, which is why we train all of our traders to use TradingView to maximize their profits. We're happy to share our expertise with the public to make you a better Forex or crypto trader. If you're ready to be a professional Forex and crypto trader, click on the apply link in the video description. Now on to our tutorial. All right, everyone, in today's TradingView tutorial, we will be going over one of my favorite features of this charting platform, and that is the ability to set alerts. Now, the ability to set alerts is extremely useful and it's very simple to do. All you have to do is take your mouse cursor and hover it over the price chart until you see the crosshairs like this. Now, let's say I want to set a alert below the swing low from Wednesday, August 9th. Um, and let's say I want to set that alert at a price of 127. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the price chart like so, and then I'm going to see this option pop up, add alert on the Great British Pound US dollar currency pair. I'm going to click on that, and now these parameters pop up. Now I said 127, I'm going to be very precise and I'm just going to type in 127 exactly. And now I have some parameters that I can select in terms of how I would want this alert to, to trigger. So for example, if I only wanted to trigger once, I would click only once. If I wanted to trigger every time price prices cross this, um, this, this alert level, then I would click on every time. So I'm going to click on only once and I'm going to keep it on crossing. So I, I could have it, uh, I, I could really customize the, the parameters here, but I like to keep it simple on crossing. And I'm going to keep the parameters based on price as well, but I could also set an alert on an indicator, for example. I could even give this alert a name. I personally do not label my alerts with names, but that is something that you could do. The next thing that's important to consider is how you want to be notified. So I only have one notification enabled, which is that I want to be uh, notified on the app, right? So I don't need an email from TradingView. Um, I don't necessarily need a sound to, to play for my trading system when the alert triggers. I'm fine with just getting notified on the app. This lets me set alerts and then walk away from my trading system and go about with the rest of my day. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set the alert. And once I set the alert, you're going to see it pop up right here. You see there's this little green arrow right at 127. And if I hover my mouse over it, it's going to show that the alert is set for cable uh, when we're crossing a price threshold of 127. Now I can make some edits to this on a visual scale. So if I right click on the alert itself, I have the ability to click on alert lines. If I do that, it's going to extend the alert line horizontally. It's a personal preference on whether you want this to clutter up the chart like this or not. And then finally, I can change the color of the alert as well. So if I don't want green, I could have it as being red. I'm, I'm just going to stick it to green because that's typically how I leave it. And uh, I, again, I don't like having the lines on the chart because I think it clutters it up. So I'm just going to leave that be for now. And I know the alerts there because I see this little green arrow. Okay, so there is one other really cool feature uh, that I use with alerts personally, and that sometimes I will set an alert based on a trend line break. So let's say I draw my trend line like this. All right, we can see that price has found support off of this line uh, this morning. So if I want to set an alert on the trend line in the event that this trend line breaks down, I'm going to right click on the trend line. I'm going to then click on add alert on trend line. And then all I have to do is click on create. And you're going to notice a little alarm clock over top of the trend line. And that signifies that this trend line has an alert attached to it. So if prices cross this trend line to the downside, you know, I will get notified on my app the exact same way as I would with the alert set at a price threshold of 127. Whenever you delete a drawing on the price chart, you're going to, with an alert attached to it, you're going to get this confirmation window. That's just letting you know that if you delete the trend line, the alert will also be deleted as well. And finally, this little alarm clock icon on the right shows all the alerts. So here are the alerts logs. You know, these are all the alerts, and you can see I use alerts quite a bit. Uh, these all are all the alerts that have triggered, and then these are all my active and recently triggered alerts up here. All right, traders, that's it for me. Look forward to seeing you in the next TradingView tutorial.